Hey, today I'm teaching you guys how to get, keep, and multiply your personal training and strength and conditioning clientele. If becoming a personal trainer, strength and conditioning coach, or gym owner is your main mission in life, this channel is for you guys. We've got hundreds of videos on this channel right now that without going anywhere else can help you take your career to the top. So now would be a great time to subscribe, which is all I'm really asking you guys to do. So maybe you could do it, help us out a little bit, give us a few views. But in any event, today on this show, I'll be helping you guys solve a huge problem that personal trainers, strength coaches, gym owners, you know, we've all had, everybody's had, me included at certain points in my career. Getting, keeping, and multiplying clients. All a little bit different, all require a few different things. I have no notes on this one, so I'm gonna be going completely off the cuff. As you get started in this industry, you have to realize, maybe you'll watch this last video that, that we made right before this, which is become known for something. Become known for delivering value in a specific manner that people can count on and rely on, which is gonna help you get clients. It's gonna help you um, have people know about what you're doing. We talked about promoting on social media, leveraging Instagram, um, leveraging YouTube channels, YouTube pre-rolls, a MailChimp email newsletter, which, which is free, getting a Shopify account set up to where people can go see information. It can sell for you 24 hours a day. Maybe creating a click funnel page where, again, it can be selling for you 24 hours a day so you can get those clients. But what we really have to focus on is how do we actually get the client, keep the client, and multiply the client? Let me take you to, through a, a typical sales cycle of getting a client. First, you need to become known and you need to do all the things we just mentioned. You need to hammer and flood the market with information so people know that you exist. They know that you are a bodybuilding coach or a baseball coach, or you know maybe you're a catcher's coach, whatever it is. Maybe you are, let's just stick with the gym theme, maybe you're a person who helps people get better looking legs. And everybody knows that you're the person, you're the leg expert. Okay, cool, everybody knows that. Now we need to go put that on the internet. We need to go send that out online. We don't have time for, mailing out mail to people anymore, the archaic you know, way of doing things. We don't have time for doing TV ads or the money to do TV ads. So we need to leverage those free platforms that are available to you now through Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Now, while everybody else in the industry toots their own horn all the time, which can be an added benefit, I've always found that the key benefit to getting new clients is taking those few people that you do have. Maybe you're at the point where you're really just starting. You're, you're a rookie, and, but you have family member that you train and you help them lose 20 pounds. Well, let's market that. Let's leverage their success. Let's have them push it online and get you referrals. Let's have them go put it on their Instagram account. You can do the same thing, but let's, use, let's tap their network. Let's tap their audience because they already have the no like, and trust factor with maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe if they're an influencer, hundreds or even thousands of people that will then want to do what they're doing and they'll trust you because their friend or their daughter or their brother or sister or family member or teacher or coach trusts you. Now they trust you. You can get a client. Okay, so first things first, let's get some results with a few people even if you do it for free. I've talked about that on how to start a gym. Start a gym by training people, by getting people results, and then you're gonna be able to get them to bring you in referrals. So the next thing on is, how do we keep clients? I've just talked about this again with my staff, is you get clients by getting clients results. You keep those clients by getting them results, by getting them before and after pictures, by getting them exactly to where they wanna be, right? Because now they trust you, now they're used to that. They're accustomed to coming in and training with you two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. They're accustomed to you checking up on their nutrition. They're accustomed to all these things. You can never stop those actions. Maybe you can bring on staff like I've done who can help you execute some of those key things to make sure you can follow up and have continuity with that client and create a real relationship. Because that's what you do when you help someone get results. You're helping them get where they are, from where they are to where they want to be, you're creating a big transformation in whatever area of life that you do, whatever you specialize in as a coach, and it's going to help that person trust you more. You have a good relationship now. Now you're almost kind of married a little bit, so you can keep that client. Um, maybe you evolve their program. Maybe you advance it or regress it based off of their needs at that time, but you have a real relationship. What does that mean? I text them. 
That means that I send them some inspiration. That means if I know they're going through a divorce or they're going through a loss in the family or they just lost a pet or they just had a really bad day or maybe like I've got clients who are work in the ER, maybe they lost a few patients or just had a really stressful day and saw some pretty violent or nasty things. It's my job to reach out send you a message to ask you how you're doing to see if I can kind of raise your spirits a little bit, send you a motivational video. Maybe I took a picture during your workout on my phone, put it in Lightroom, threw a preset on it so it looks really crisp, crisp, something that matches your profile. I put a quote on it and I send you it so you can post it on your Instagram story or use it as the background. You know, maybe somebody like Josh can come in. If somebody's doing really good, I got JT over here, the freaking video master of the universe. Get him on because the world wants to see him. The dude's good. The, dude, the dude's real good. He's real smooth. It. Maybe I'm like, hey, JT, here's some extra dough. Come in. I need you to film a couple, you know, three minute video of this client training because they're doing really good. And we're creating that relationship. Now, that one really doubles as something because instead of me always having to be like, even just this video, I hate that I'm having to be on the video, but shit, nobody else is going to do it. So I might as well do it myself. But I wanna film my client, highlight my client. I wanna make sure that they're the superstar. I wanna brag about them. And I wanna get that 60, three, 60 second, three minute video cut of them training and just kinda of showing them off. I'll post it, they'll post it, the whole world will see it. I'll be able to keep that client because I have a good relationship with them. So another thing to keep your clients, have conversations with your clients in advance, long before you need it about what the next steps are. A lot of you rookie personal trainers, strength coaches, gym owners, you wait till someone's about to expire on their membership, their training package, their personal training package before you want to resell them. I, I think I know that more about even people in the video and film industry is they book a gig and they're not looking at what's next. As a successful entrepreneur or personal trainer, anybody who's in the service industry, you're doing your own gig work, you have to be looking to what's coming. You have to look, as I call it, up and out not down and in. You have to be able to get above where you're at and be like, okay, I know this person's got 10 more training sessions left. That being said, if I just allow them to finish these 10 sessions and I don't know what's going on after that, my job security is at risk. Their results, because I know they need 20 or 30 or 100 more sessions to get to their goal or target, I need to make sure that I have a plan in place with them. That's how I'll get to keep them. If you were watching this video and hoping for some magical secret of how to have a good retention rate, it's not there. Get people results. Make sure that you have a, a, a mutually beneficial agreement about what the next steps are and make sure that you take action. Have those conversations. When, when the person's got you know, two months left on their program, close them for the next couple of years if you can. You know, and, and don't be afraid to sign someone up for 18 months, 24 months. People are more willing to do some of that stuff than you would think they would. On one of my videos about how to open a gym, I had somebody say $250. Do you think people are gonna pay that? And, and you know, when you're starting off, 250 bucks sounds like a lot, but don't undervalue yourself. What we do is preventative care. I look at it as being, you know, kind of just under medicine and, and, and people in the medical practice because what we do actually prevents them from having to go down a lot of serious health issues that they might, you know, bump up against if they didn't have a personal trainer who taught them how to eat, exercise, keep their mental health in check. So we're pretty important. I think that's important enough to charge what you're worth. I hope you guys would agree. Now, how do we multiply? Let's go into some multiplication. Now, I remember listening to an audio, I think it was Jay Abrahams was speaking at the 10X growth con or, or some kind of a seminar with Grant Cardone, one of my business mentors. And he mentioned something about people in the service industry that thrive on referrals typically don't even have one predictable referral system that they implement and have in place to keep leveraging and building and expanding their business and generating more referrals off of that. Because again, we need to get a client, we need to keep a client, and we need to then multiply the client. So if I get 30 clients, I look at those 30 clients as like this. Those 30 people each have 10, 20, 30, 40, or a couple hundred people worth of influence at their job, their friends, their family, their followers, okay? So if I take those 30 people and I get them in shape, I build a great relationship with them and they stick with me or even they just do the 30, I can generate referrals. How do I generate referrals in the personal training and gym industry? First of all, I make the client a superstar. I've got pictures of them that I promote online, that I take them in, that they repost, or I take specific videos, as I just mentioned, of that client training, getting after it. And then maybe at the end, 
I ask the client, hey, what was life like before Top Line? What's it like since you've been here? And what would you say to your friends and followers about what they should do if they're on the fence about joining Top Line? Ask them three simple questions. They take that video now, they post it on their social media, the little thing that says, hey, DM me if you wanna come in here. And then we post that online. So we get double the content, saves us the time. We have something to use on our Instagram story, Instagram feed, and they can also post and promote it on Facebook or wherever else, send it out in the email. Not only do we have a good testimonial for some, from somebody, but now their whole network that trusts them, that knows them, that follows them, that just saw them lose maybe 30 pounds with you, that just saw them maybe get in the best shape, the, they've added lean muscle, or maybe it is, you know, they do the top line booty camp and they saw their glutes going from pancake to, you know, put it on the sink, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. And if, they, and if that's the results they're looking for and somebody else sees that and they have a similar goal, they're gonna DM and say, hey, how do I go in there and train with Brett, and Blake and Blair and, and, and get a video from JT and, and you know work with the whole squad? That's just how it works, guys. It's very simple. A couple other referral tactics that you can have that we implement here at Top Line. Anybody can do it. Because again, these things are simple, but they're not easy. Someone has to execute them. Take your, take your client's phone, like I do, film your client's workout. Get a good workout. If they ask you what they did, maybe you can give them a brief recap of what they actually hit during that training session so that they can post it to the world and look knowledgeable and say, here's what we did. And all you gotta do is ask. Sad that you gotta ask occasionally, but you still need to take another action because you can give them the video. They might post the video and not even give you credit, not even tag you in it. I've had people that I've trained over the last few weeks and they go post the video online and don't say, hey, by the way, this whole workout I'm doing was brought to you by Top Line Gym, Brett Summers, put me through the workout, it was amazing. But you have to take the action to remind them, hey, next time you post that online, if you wouldn't mind, you know, since I took the time to do that, could you just you know, maybe tag me in there and put a little thing at the bottom that says, hey, if you wanna come to Top Line, come check it out, DM me, okay? or DM Brett Summers, or DM Top Line Gym, or Blair Hargrove, or whoever it is, or whoever you are. So leverage your client's social media. Do the same on Snapchat, do the same on Instagram, on Facebook. Highlight your clients so that they wanna go post about you. They wanna go brag about you. If you go post something in your feed about your clients and like, oh, I just wanted to say Simra, got a gal at the gym named Simra who just been getting in phenomenal shape. Hey, Simra went from this to this. It's crazy, it's shocking. Everybody should be in here. Everybody should be wanting to do it. She's just the best. She hits the strength training. She's stronger. She's you know in better shape. She's eating better. She's referring people in here. If I post that online and she sees it, she's gonna feel good. She's gonna take that post and she's gonna share, screenshot it and share it. You guys need to leverage human nature. Who does everybody, including you, like and love and wanna talk about more than anybody? Themselves. Themselves. You guys wanna talk about yourselves. People like to be, people like when people brag on them. So the most important thing to be able to keep and multiply your clients is to step outside of yourself and serve. Hook your clients up, something I do. See in the backdrop, we here have some pretty slick Top Shop boxes, right? We're at the Top Shop, a little swag. So here we go. Got a little quote on the inside. I wanna see you succeed and grow bigger than I ever could have myself. I made Top Line for you. It's your gym. It was designed for you. It was built to improve your life. It's all yours and it always will be. Sounds like a bunch of malarkey, right, maybe? But that's just really how I, how I am. And I actually wrote that message as from an Instagram post after one of my clients lost their lives. Um, one of my youth high school athletes lost their lives. So that's from the heart. That's how we are at Top Line. But what I do with this Top Shot box is I fill this with goodies. So they open it up. We got some really nice like uh, black, I don't know what they call it, fluff, right? Just to make it look good when they unbox it. They open it up and I just jam that thing with Top Line swag and merch and apparel. And if you're one of my personal training clients, because we pay, my clients pay $4,000 or if they train with me in the mornings, they pay seven thousand dollars to train with me i take some of that money and i put it back into them i go buy them some lululemon or some balance pants or some a nike or adidas or our, again our top line apparel that we have out there and i swag them out with something that would make their day i put some candles in there some chocolates um a gift card to their favorite restaurant whatever it is that really would make their day i reinvest into my clients again it goes back to that keeping and having a relationship but when i do this what do you think happens what do you think the client does when I do this? Because first of all, who else does this? Nobody, maybe Andy Frisella. Maybe Andy Frisella. Do they post it on their social media? They probably post it 
on their social media. Why? Because nobody right now in this day and age, for the most part, can step outside and step above themselves for two minutes to think about making someone else's day. And you want to know what the best part about that is? Yeah, they post it online. People see it. They buy into it. And if they have similar results, they come in here and train. That's cool. But at the end of the day, it just feels good to be able to do something nice for someone else. Kind of like this video. Okay. So those things, just like this video, I'm out here helping you guys out. And some of the messages that I've, I mean, like a lot of messages, a lot of DMs, a lot of people find me on Instagram at Mr. Brett Summers, if you want to follow me on Instagram or at Topline Gym. They're sending me messages about how helpful it is to see some of these videos on how to be a successful trainer, coach, or gym owner. And that's what it's all about. It's cool to get that message. Feels good. Now, because I just gave you, and I went, uh, as Bedros Koulian would say, with a giving hand, I just went out and gave to you. Maybe you'll eventually want to work with me. Maybe eventually you'll want to do a program. I've got a book coming out that um, I'll probably actually just drop for free, but maybe you'll get it and you'll tell people about it. It will expand my brand and what we're doing here at Topline. Because at the end of the day, we like to help people out. And that's what it's all about with your clients. Can you help them? Can you serve them? Can you get them results and multiply? So. Take some of those tactics. Those are actual tactics that are repeatable. If every client comes in, you have a picture that you post of them right away, you give them a little gift when they first join, three weeks later you give them another gift, uh, uh, two days later you give them a, uh, you send them some mail. You know, We have a whole sequence for what we do, but that's what you have to create. What are you gonna do for your client for the first 90 days that they're with you? You know, maybe a t-shirt day one. Maybe you give them a Starbucks gift card and a quote uh, in a written card that they can have the next time. Maybe they're going through some hard, you send them something in the mail, you know, a candle or something like that. Uh, you can buy them like a, a gay. I, I like to use candy bars. Candy bars, the names of the candy bars sometimes are funny and can correlate. So I got this from my grandfather who was a salesman, kind of like myself. And on Sundays, he would go buy Lifesavers and he'd wrap a little note around the lifesaver tied to it with a string that said, if you ever need anything, I'll be there for you. Get it? He's your lifesaver. Funny little stuff like that. Um, I've, I've given people 100 grand bars and, and wrote a little joke in there about you know, how much their next training program is going to cost if they don't keep getting after it or if they keep making excuses, that's how much it's going to cost. Get creative. Think about your clients, send them messages, and you're gonna create this following of people like I have, like we have at Top Line. I got people that have been here for 11, 12 years that have stayed in shape, that stay here, and they keep paying and promoting. You got people like Joshua Brunner, Elizabeth Hansen, Melanie, I've got Shannon, I've got June, I've got all these people that have been there with me for so many years, you know, three years, five years, eight years, 10 years. And it's because I actually care and give a crap about them. And that's what's most important. And you do that by actions. You can't just say it, you do it by actions. So get out there, get after it. Again, turn this video off, shut it down. Don't go to another one. Don't go down the rabbit hole. Don't even go to another one of my videos, even though I'd like to get the views right now. Shut it down, take action, get after it, get a piece of paper and a pen, write down 20 things you can do for your clients. You'll have fun with it. You're like, damn, man, we can make videos for the clients. We can send them text messages. We can go into Canva. Every personal trainer should have Canva right now if you're creating things, YouTube thumbnails or Instagram stories, stuff like that. I got a Canva account, 13 bucks. I'm gonna go in there and make quote pictures of my clients and quotes. I'm gonna drop a preset in there. If you don't know what a preset is there, make sure you get your Adobe game a little bit tighter. You know, there are all these things that, that we do and that I do and like with our cameras and the, the little details about the SD cards that we have to run and the, the, the top mic setup or do we go with the lav mic or, or do we go with an LED light? All these little details that you would do in the camera business are the same you have to do on the back end of this business. You need to be able to leverage Adobe, ClickFunnels, uh, Shopify accounts, MailChimp accounts, Square accounts. Are you going to drop Venmo payments? Whatever you're going to do, you need to have your game tight. So get out there. Turn this video off. Take action. Come up with ways that you can serve and build relationships with your clients. And I guarantee you will pay off. Someday you'll be standing in the middle of your gym. And, and maybe a few months out from opening another one on the other side of the country where it's warm, so I don't have to be in this dungeon all the time, kind of like what we are, you'll be on the, you know, the rocket ship going up. But it comes through grabbing a piece of paper and doing the work of knowing the path that you want to take to get you to where you want to go. So turn the video off, subscribe to this video channel, drop us a comment if it helped you out. And I look forward to hearing some of your results. Let me know if some of this stuff worked. Or let me know if you just we watched just this. An SD card. Oh, did we? Yeah. There we go. This one picks up audio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we cut out there. We bombed out because, you know, I probably was getting a little windy. <laughs>
How long was this one at so far? Like 21. Damn, but it's filled with good content. So listen to it. And if you ain't got 21 minutes, split it into two parts. Listen to one before lunch and one after lunch for crying out loud. It's here to help you guys out. I hope y'all had a great time listening to this. Check it out here. If you want to listen to more, we got it on Spotify and iTunes should be all over the place. And uh, again, drop a comment if you need help and be on the lookout for top line merch that you can order if you like it. You can support us. You can rock a top line shirt because you saw some of our videos and they helped you out. It'll be live here in the next couple of weeks. Catch you guys later.